I'm NBC 5's Jennifer Elliott. It's time to take a look at your local forecast. Now for today, we do have a front that's going to be pushing on through. You can see that band. It's going to be heading across the region throughout the day and into the night. We'll see some lingering showers, but then things are going to dry up behind the system. It's a quick mover and it'll be out of our area pretty darn fast. So by tomorrow, we're actually going to be looking at dry conditions and sunny skies. If we take a look at the coastline for today's highs in the 50s, we'll see the chance for rain. It's a good chance into the nighttime hours as well with low in the 40s down to 45 in Bandon and North Bend. Along the I-5 corridor, highs today in the 60s with a chance for showers and also into the night. Up to 69 in Wairica though and 67 in Mount Shasta and that's because we're actually going to be seeing a little bit warmer conditions, a little more sun for Northern California where it's least likely that we'll see any rain showers. East of the Cascades also today will remain fairly dry, but by the nighttime and even afternoon possibly hours, that's when we'll start seeing the bulk of this wet weather. We could also see a lightning strike here or there around Northern California, around Alturas, because instability is going to creep up on us during the afternoon hours. Lows though tonight, east side in the 20s and 30s. And look at the seven day. We are going to be seeing a wet day today, but it's not very much. Less than a tenth of an inch is expected for most locations, maybe up to a quarter or a half an inch for the coastline around Coos County. And then ridging will build in for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so we'll keep it dry over the weekend. And then next week, we do have a trough that's going to move on shore. And by midweek, we'll actually start seeing snow levels drop down to the passes. So check back for updates on that. We could see our roads impacted just slightly come Wednesday into Thursday. And then for the coastline on Saturday, there is is a front that's going to reach the coastline. It's going to dip on down and then pull right back on up to the north. So mainly the coast will be impacted by that wave.